Hello, welcome to you know. This is my Chunk Lock group Iron Man. My three friends, Llama, Nick, Sammy, and I have been working through chunks to link together, making some friends along the way. We're nearing the bossing stage now and linked up together, so let's get right into the episode. Hello everyone and welcome to the episode. We are AFKing some Slayer right now. I'm a little bit behind on some Tasker videos, so I'm kind of focusing that right now. So I'm kind of just going to AFK some Slayer for a little bit. I am not looking forward to getting this Soul Wars cape that I need. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of it at all. It's a long time, so we're going to chill. But that's 92 strength. So yeah. So I just went and banked, right? And, and I come back, and this guy is Daraking greater demons without lowering his health and without protect from melee and when i got here there was bones and i was confused by them but I, I don't know i don't know what his game plan is here all right so so i'm starting to think his game plan is is to just die no okay okay he was he was lowering his health instead of using a stone for a rock cake but then he used the rock cake at the end does he not know you can guzzle it like dudes in full darks at greater demons with an obby cape and a blood fury is that a blood fury on him no no it's just a regular one okay okay all right, so Task has been grinding very hard at Cerberus, and he has gotten the final item, the Bugasian Crystals, 805 KC, and he has completed the log, which means Semi can roll. And they rolled because I was at work. So if I scroll down through our conversation, you can see right here, we got the Fountain of Rune, then the Ireworth Camp, then the only middle wildy chunk that we are missing, the Karamda Jungle Mind, Port Tyrus, and God Wars. So Semi is now locked to God Wars Dungeon. Yeah. Not ideal, but a lot of upgrades in our future. 75 cooking. Uh, we also realized that we can do Morning Zen Part 1 and 2, but it didn't show up on the chunker for some reason. I, we're guessing it's because the mourners don't spawn in our chunks, but we can kill them. So yeah. We actually have to get a Dark Bow. But Task is the only one to actually do that right now. So we're going to get the Dark Bow before God Wars Dungeon since we did roll it. I don't know why we're not just canceling God Wars Dungeon exactly, but eh, they decided it. I was at work. All right, it's time we get quest in. We're going to do Troll Stronghold and Edgar's Ruiz first because we want to do some God Wars with the boys. And that's Troll Stronghold completed. And that's Edgar's Ruiz completed. All right, I've been saving these clues for a while, and we're waiting for Semi to get on, so I'm going to go ahead and open them now. There's a blue elegant shirt. Wizard robe to G, very nice. Nothing, well, there's a bad one, and that's not much better. Not too bad. Three uniques, we'll take them. All right, do the two mediums. In before rangers, no. And let's open the hard one. Ooh, we got a heraldic helm. Very nice. All right, we are doing some bandos. Me, Semi, and Task are all on, and I am tanking with full Torags and Guthans to heal. So it should be interesting. What the yeah, fuck are you guys are doing? <laughs> Just look, look away. I, I'm already looking away. I got my first KC as the tank. <laughs> Yeah, 47 KC. We got nine the first trip, so you know, 38 kills that last trip with the four of us. That's pretty good. If we did, if we did 20 trips like that, that would probably be enough to get everything on, right? Hopefully. Oh my God, Sammy and I are getting KC for God Wars to do some bandos. He's got a Goblin Champion scroll, of course. That was 80 Slayer. One KC of the day, we get a bandos chest plate. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is just our luck. Bravo, sir. Oh, we'll take those. Look at that beast. We got them Bandos boots. In Task's name while he's tanking, of course. 
All right, that's 70 tasks completed, 60 point bonus. Very nice. 90 attack, 81 herblore. Holy shit, I actually got the orange egg sack. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that actually. I am mind blown that I got that. Oh, 99 times it took to get that. Hey, we actually got a hard clue while killing hellhounds. Let's see what we get. A bandos page. Yay. All right, it's time we get quest in. We need 50 rune crafting for devious mind. So yeah, seven more levels. I've already done two. Huzzah. And that's 44 rune crafting and 1800 total level. Very nice. There's 50 rune crafting. Once this game's over, we'll use all of our reward points, see if we get anything interesting. All right, we got 28 searches. Let's see what we get. And nothing else. We got almost 100 pearls from that, so that's pretty damn good. That's Devious Mines completed. That's the Forsaken Tower completed. And that is Darkness of Hollow Bell completed. And that is A Taste of Hope completed. And we've already done some theater blood, so that's Night at the Theater completed. All right, we had to start Desert Treasure for our next mini quest and the one after it, so we could get the Ring of, Vis Ring of Visibility. Took four lockpicks, no big deal. Onward. And that's Curse of the Empty Lord completed. Kind of a weird one because there's no ending and it kind of just ends in the wilderness, but while I'm here, I'm gonna go charge an Earth Orb for that wilderness task and I picked up five red spider eggs, so kill a couple birds with one stone. All right, and I think this is the general shadow completed. Indeed, there we go. Very nice. All right, and that's the easy wilderness diary completed. All right, and that is the hard wilderness diaries completed. And that's the medium diaries done. All right, that's the easy Western provinces. So I'm just venturing over to the lighthouse in a very stupid way. But as noticed, you can see pyramid plunder from this specific level. Very like I can even examine the sarcophagus from here very very weird and that's the medium diary completed in the Fremnic area and there's the easy diary that is regicide completed and that's roving elves completed uh, I grab the shield because I tend to tank when we do God Wars dungeon so yeah and that's morning's end part one completed time for the worst one that is Morning's End Part 2 completed. I hate this quest with a passion. Far worse than One Small Favor. Ragged Bowman 2. Any of them. This is the worst one. By far. Shout out to Semi though for the supply run. Definitely, definitely needed that. Let's go roll a chunk. Alright, hop right into it. Pick chunk. The chunk! Alright, show new tasks. Huh. Oh. There's nothing. What a surprise. Pick junk. Hey, we can go into the air and our pass now. Show new tasks. There's nothing. Pick junk. Well, we can do some falconeering now, guys. All right. Show new tasks. We have to get a spottier cape and gloves of silence. That's it. Uh, yeah, it's five minutes. I'm just going to pick another chunk. I'll get them. Ooh, that is a uh, safe fuse, isn't it? The jungle potion, yeah. Show new tasks. Let's see what we got. Jungle potion, Myron's big adventure, Rag and Bowman two, which is already done. Yeah, rum deal and Zogar flesh eaters. Yeah, all right. Pick junk. Oh wow, we got Karambons. All right, let's see. That does indeed add Taibo Wanai Trio, as well as Karamja Easy and the Fossil Island Southern Sops, which we missed before. And that's it. Okay, quick chunk. Oh, look, more of the Karazi jungle. All right, show new tasks. There's nothing new here. All right, pick chunk. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, it'd be Nick's task because he has the actual Hollowed Sepulchre chunk. 
<laughs> Dude, every time I roll, I fuck Nick over, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, show new tasks. Let's see what we got here. We definitely got something. Sins of the Father. Which should put all... Yep, Hall of Sepulchre uniques. Okay, so we'll call it 92 agility. And we have to get these five pages. Because they're, the they're on the sheet. And we have to get the Ring of Endurance. Alright, so, but because that is this chunk here, which is one Nick rolled a while ago, I just unlocked him the ability to do it. I can still roll. Realistic, it's just another quest for me to do, so. Pick chunk. Oh, I'm done. I have the Kraken. Show new tasks. Let's see. Uh... Trident to the Seas, Kraken Tentacle. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's But it's not under Best in Slot, which is what confused me. Oh, because we have Staff of the Dead, and it's technically better. I have to get a Trident and a Tentacle, and Task is the only one who has the level, so this will be a little bit. Good luck, Task. <laughs> Oh, just got a cooking level from making the last of my tuna potatoes. 1,200 of them now. All right, so if we talk to what's-his-face over here, we will make our gloves of silence and one of each cape. Oh, I have to actually click buy. There we go. That's also a hard task in the Varrock area to wear it, and the spotted cape is a clue step, which is why I made that one. So there we go. That's those two acquired. So Task got a trident today, as I will show you in our group storage really quick. Because, yeah, he's been putting it in there. So we have one trident so far. He's still working on the task, so that's pretty good. And he's about to get 99 strength and hit points. So, yeah. But while I have you here, I'm just going to go ahead and combine these. Because Llama finally got on for us to make the Guardian Boots. So that is good to have for the group. And thankfully it is tradable, so we can actually do it. So yeah, ignore the smelly sock. Oh, I forgot to mention, they also got two God Sword Shard 3s as well. So, there's that. Task is having a double 99 party. This is where it began, over a year ago. <laughs> Bob's here to join us as well. I brought out the Scorpio pet in the fashionscape, you know. Mid... CV run. And he's killing a dog for 99. Hey, 99 hit points. No word to strength. <laughs> I'm helping. I think he left too much XP. Ah, oh, I'm out of multi here. There it is. 99 strength. Easy task. First one with 299. Semi got 99 range first, though. Let's go get some capes for him. And there's the hit points cape. And there's the strength cape. Alright, so to be clear, I am sick right now. But... I want to officially give you guys an overview of this series. I am ending the series here. Uh, it's been a great run. I still plan on playing the account and playing with the guys and stuff like that. I just want to focus my attention other places video wise. So I'm still going to be playing, still going to be having fun. But the whole reason I make YouTube videos is to track my progress so I can watch it in the past or in the future. The reason I'm ending this series is because I'm not getting a lot of the progress. My group is. So I'm probably going to avoid group Ironman content in the future solely because I'm not really tracking my progress. That's the whole reason I make YouTube videos. It's not for the views. It's not for anyone but myself, really. And if you guys enjoy it, great. But with those guys being able to play a lot more than me and being a lot luckier than me, I'm not really tracking much of myself. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of my bank so you can kind of see what I've accomplished. We have our Scorpio pet, of course. Just this is kind of like the miscellaneous tab. 
This is the teleport slash magic tab, I guess you'd call it. So we have our Pharaoh Scepter, we have our Dagonai hat. I'm basically just gonna list off the stuff of like notable stuff, I guess. So yeah, and then we go into our melee tab. So we have our prayer gear, our Guthans, our Daroks. The reason I don't have all of it in here is these are the dupes that we have enough for everyone. So our wildy setup, our main melee setup, our weapons slash equipables for all roles, basically. They have like our slayer stuff, stuff we can use in the future, like the dragon scimitar and the dragon halberd, which I can now use. Crystal shield, just basically miscellaneous stuff down here. Our torags for the like Callisto grinds and stuff like that. Then we get into our range tab, very small and simple. We have our range setup right here, some wildy items, our Shazian. All of our ammunition and weapons. It's a little organized. I try, but it's never perfect. Then we have our tool tab, dragon axes, dragon pickaxes. We keep the pickaxes in storage because we don't have five. Um, stuff for runs. I'm doing seaweed runs right now, obviously. So just miscellaneous skilling items that I've acquired. I don't have all of them, but I don't really feel the need to either. Got our... Catalytic and Elemental Tiara, our stew boosting stuff. Then we have our resources tab, up to 12,500 giant seaweed right now. Sitting pretty good for ores, bars, gems, planks, wood logs. Just miscellaneous stuff near the bottom, pretty much. And we have our potion tab slash food tab. This is one I have tweaked over and over and over again. And I still don't quite have it the way I want it. We have all of our four doors potions right here, pretty much. We have our one doses for when we pre-pot. And then we have our garden pies and stuff like that over here for boosting. And then we have just our food in this corner. I kind of like this layout, but I wish the potions look cleaner. Then we have all of our two, three, and one dose potions out here. Kind of saving a spot for super combats because we can't make those yet, but we have like miscellaneous weapon poison plus, antidote plus, stuff like that. They have our herblore tab. This one I am quite happy with. I have copied this layout onto other accounts, matter of fact. So we have our herbs right here that are like the good ones to make, then a couple more right here. And then we have like our secondary stuff that we crush for it off to the side. And realistically, I could switch this and this, which I should do, but I don't care enough. Then we have our Guthic re Guthic's rest stuff over here, our miscellaneous bastion stuff here, and if we scroll down further, we have all the grimy herbs, so they have a spot. Miscellaneous ingredients that I'm not really going to collect very often. And then this is our quest tab slash farm tab. All of our seeds are obviously in the seed vault. But we have like all of our protection items in here, some volcanic ash for super compost, amulets of bounty for when I was making safe grass and couldn't get seeds to save my life, always. But yeah, miscellaneous quest stuff, and then our clue rewards down here, stuff like that. Miscellaneous quest stuff on the bottom still for the new quests I've been doing recently. Then we have our collection slash clue slash smithing tab, we'll call it. So all of our collectible keys, stuff like that, we're up to 42 crystal keys. Whenever we get in Prif, I will be using all those. Uh, we have one Laren's key, a couple Ogre Coffin keys, Mossy keys, stuff like that. We have our like Marks of Grace, our Stardust, stuff like that. Like the, the mini game stuff. I am saving up 20,000 Numalite before I use all my drift nets, which are in storage. I have like 500 of them. Uh, I'm actually going to open this mystery box because, yeah. That update didn't pass, so. so I was doing a clue. A couple dark codums. We're waiting for the update for that, so. so yeah, and then we have our gold seals and our golden scarabs to recharge our feral scepter. I am glad I kept those while doing that grind, so I pretty much never have to worry about it. And then we have our clue items in here, along with like our steel battle axes and stuff like that for Giant's Foundry, stuff like that. Same with like the mithril, I keep a bunch of it for if I ever want to train smithing. Adamant, rune, we have 33, 33 rune med helms. Harder to say than I thought it was going to be. This is also like our collectible slash, slash alchemical tab. This is kind of where all the junk ends up for the most part, so yeah. But that's 
pretty much it aside f as far as my bank goes let's look at the group storage right now all right so starting from the top we have our barrel stuff as you can see there's full tour eggs in here already um we have two full sets of guthans but one's being used we have full darox but we have duplicates of all of them except the top so we just keep the top in here but we keep it organized as best as we can Still no Aram's top, still no Carol's skirt. Those are the two we're missing. We have mine and Semi's Dragon Warhammers, Dragon Two-Handers. Don't really need to be in here. We have more than enough Dragon Axes for everyone. A rare Abyssal Dagger that Tass got from Abbey Demons. A couple of leaf -lit stuff for that Slayer Task. Our Bandos Chestplate, our Guardian Boots, our Granite Gloves. We have a couple Tridents now. I think we have two or three. Our full Odium, full Mad Addiction Ward. Uh, this is kind of where we keep our clue items and extra ammunition, such as like the Tome of Water and stuff. Our rings, so we have all of the rings, and then we have all of the like wildy rings to the Light Bear. This is kind of where we keep our quest stuff, slash stuff we need in the future. So like Sinister Keys for Diaries, Chaotic Talisman for the quest, which Nick still hasn't done like 40 quests. So yeah. And there'll be random items like the pirate boots in here because fashion. So, and then we keep all of our extra pages in here that people don't need. I still need to look through this recently. And then we have our two potato make it stuff and miscellaneous food that the group can use if we're doing like sire or something like that. And then our potions that we have access of. Everyone kind of makes their own potions at this point, except Nick, who tends to just ask me for potions and I throw them his way. He always gives me herbs, so I don't mind doing it. But yeah, that's pretty much everything we've done so far. It feels like we've done nothing, but we have done a ton. So thank you guys so much for the support you've given on this series. I hope you have enjoyed it. There will be a new series coming out two weeks from the release of this episode. So make sure you subscribe to check that out. It's kind of a custom idea I had that's kind of inspired by some videos I've seen. But it's fully from scratch. I spent like 14 hours making a spreadsheet or something like that for it. So there's a lot to it. And it's very a very simple idea. But it's kind of cool. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, like the video, comment any questions. If there's anything you'd like to see from this account, I will still be playing it. I mean, these are the stats. I probably should have showed those earlier. So... If you want to see anything from this account, I'm willing to do like one-off videos and stuff like that on it. So if you have any ideas, just let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.